Hi, it's Jai. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today's vlog is a spend a day with me. Um, today I have to do my hair and I have work. That's really it. Yesterday was mad fun. Um, I had a half a day at school and then also we have like this something called like um wellness day and so it's basically basically you have a half day schedule and then um you do two sessions of like activities to calm you or like not necessarily to calm you but to just like relax and have fun so i did uh terraria making which was cool and like we made like little terrariums and like a little thing and um it was actually really really fun it was calming like i didn't even have my phone out or anything besides like recording what i did and then i did knitting which was really really fun actually i've knit and crocheted before but i kind of stopped because i wasn't that good at it but this i we did like uh hand knitting so it was actually really 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 easy i'm actually supposed to finish that right now because i didn't finish it because we didn't have time um so yeah and I'm trying to think anything else for, for me to say to y'all but can't i think of nothing to say right now so um i'm talking to you when i got something to say Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna teach you guys how I knitted this. Um, I got my, my meditation music on, got my water. It's a cute day. Even though I'm doing this instead of doing my hair, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that eventually. So it don't it don't really matter. Okay, so you start like this, and then you have these yarns already pre like in here, like that. So, what you want to do with that is basically, so, you take the new one and the old one, that's part of your work, and then you just put the new one under, and then strip it through. And then it looks like that. Then you just continue doing it for the whole time until you get to the next row and then you just switch it so and then occasionally you'll have to like um you'll have to like pull it because it gets loose a lot because it's obviously just it's held by one loop it's not held by a knot like it usually is um is this right hold on i'm doing a tutorial i don't even know if i'm doing it right oh yeah yeah okay uh, while we knit, let's let's do a little uh, life update. So, y'all can't see the yarn. Hey. Yeah. Okay. So, if y'all don't know, I quit track. Yeah, we quit track. Um, Because it was coming to a point where I had this whole uh, paragraph that I was going to, like, show to y'all to, like, Oh, dang it, I left the dang stitch out. I have to start all over again. But if you start all over again, you, all you gotta do is pull it out. Like, it's really easy to just start the row again. But, yeah, I quit track because it was a uh, two... One, there was many reasons. One, it was just too much. Um, I have to go to college. Um, by the way, I'm going to UConn, the University of Connecticut. I'm not going to Clark anymore because it's too expensive. As much as I want to go to an HBCU, I cannot afford to go. Like I'm, I'm not made made of money, and they were not giving me enough financial aid or like a scholarship or anything. And the University of Connecticut is the cheapest college that um that accepted me. So well, that I want to go to because there was other colleges, but I don't really, I'm not interested in going there. Um. But yeah, so I have to start pay looking for how to pay for college, and it's just a lot going on. I don't have time, and I know that I'm not good enough to get a track scholarship, but I just did track for fun and to work out because it's it's an easy workout. Well, not an easy workout, but like it's an it's a convenient workout because all you gotta do is do a little running for an hour, and then sometimes we did weight room. And then we done. Like I don't have to like focus on going to a gym or anything. Even though now I have weightlifting, but that's only for the semester. Like once school is done, I'm I don't know. So um, yeah, it was too much. And I was really thinking about like why I joined track in the first place. And I feel like it was an ego thing. Like I wanted to. I I felt the need 
to be the best at everything. And when I found out that I wasn't, I was like, okay, now I'm determined to like prove people wrong. Even though I feel like, yeah, people are gonna say I'm slow, but like they're not lying. So what's the point? Like, it, like here's the thing. This, this is gonna go on a tangent, but there's a like, you know like <clears throat> how people say like, oh, you're talking mess about people or da 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 da. I feel like if you're telling the truth, you're not talking mess. Like if someone says I'm slow, you're correct. So you're not talking mess. You're just stating a fact. Talking mess is like rumors and like like they like talking about like oh you're ugly that's t that's talking mess but if you're just saying oh yeah she's slow or i have a big forehead yes i do and yes i am like it's it's a fact so it, i don't really i don't really i don't really think that that's that but anyway back to the main topic say that for my freaking podcast which is coming back soon. I just, I wanted to get better quality because the, the quality of those videos were so bad. And also the microphone was horrible, as you can tell by right, right, right now. But I have to wait till later. But, um, so to start a new row, don't mind that. I messed up and I don't feel like taking back. All you gotta do is just flip the yarn to the side that the row is on now. So back, it was here before. Now you just flip it here. And then you just start again with the first loop and then pull it under. And then start again see it's so easy i do re i recommend like get into get into i just go on a whole thing i'm talking about i'm supposed to be talking about track i'm talking about freaking editing but um i i suggest getting into a lot of hobbies that do not require technology because it's very like it's so freeing like i want to like I, I need to stop saying like. I'm, I'm trying to train myself to stop saying like, but it's very, very hard. Um, I'm trying to train myself to read more because I stopped reading. I used to read a lot, as y'all know. I used to read a lot, especially audiobooks, but I'm trying to get back into hardcover or paperback books because, again, I don't like using my phone all that time i'm trying to reduce it a lot especially now like i need to start getting used to like not being on my phone like that because i'm going to be in college i'm going to be in so many other things during college i'm not going to have time to be on my phone like that so i'm trying to like prepare myself now but back to what i was trying to say in the first place i quit track because one the team is just not the same I'm not saying that anybody on the team is like horrible or anything like that never was well never would say that I love all the girls on that team. They're cool. They're cool. They're talented. They're fun. They're funny. Like I love all of them. Um, but it, it's just not the atmosphere that I think I wanted to put myself in anymore because I knew that the expectation that I had for myself I wouldn't achieve. But I feel like I achieved a lot. Like I went to states both both years that I did track. I started track my junior year outdoor season season with no experience with running was the slowest on the team i was on varsity both seasons but i was the slowest person period like all the jv girls could beat me but i made it to states and some people didn't and i made it to states for my outdoor season for my indoor season too this year as i know um and I placed at CCC. So, like, I accomplished a lot. But I wanted to go to nationals. Like, I wanted to do all this stuff. But it was really an ego-feeding thing. Because I, did, I didn't do it for myself. Like, truthfully, if I was just doing it for myself, I probably would have quit a long time ago. Probably would have quit indoor season. But I wanted to prove to other people, like, yeah, you were wrong. I'm not slow. I'm fast. Da -da 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 -da. Like, it was very, like, it was very... <sighs> Uh, for other people if, to feed my egos, people will stop talking mess. But like people weren't talking mess. It was just in my head that people were talking mess because I'm slow and I knew that I was slow. It's just it was just a lot going on, and I would just I just thought to myself like, who cares? Like, who cares? That's what I, that's what I've been doing a lot. Like my senior year, I just stopped caring because it's like we're about to leave. We're about to be in college. I'm not gonna know any of you people in less than a less than two months. Regardless if you go to the same college or not, I know a lot of people, a lot of people are probably going to go to the University of Connecticut, but um, it wouldn't matter because still, um, it's a big campus. I'm not going to see you probably because I'm guaranteed we do not have the same major. So it doesn't it doesn't matter what other people are doing or what other people think of you, regardless of if they actually do think it or if it's all in your head. It doesn't matter. Like just do what you want to do, be who you want to be. And that's that on that. Like, 
And that's what I've really been coming to lately because it's just a lot going on, child. It's a lot going on. Um, I got to do my hair. I forgot about that. I've been wearing it in like a, a, a ponytail with a scarf on. It actually looks cute. It looks cute. But um, yeah, y'all. <clears throat> I'm actually like, not stop saying like, girl. Stop saying like. I'm actually ready to be done with school. <laughs> like this senior year, like the senior itis is real. Like I thought I had it in junior year because I was like, I was, I'm just done. I'm ready for senior year. But this is real, real bad. Like this is real bad. Like I only have one test to take and then one more project to do. And I don't want to do it. I really don't. And this, the AP exams is coming up. I don't care about them. <laughs> I really don't like, <clears throat> I kind of just want to get it over with. Like, I would, if I didn't have to take it, I wouldn't. I, I have to take it to get the credit for the class. But if I didn't have to, and if it was optional, I wouldn't take it because I don't, I don't really care. I don't, I don't care. Y'all, I, I need to start my podcast back again. Like, I want to talk to y'all for real. But, um, <clears throat> I started Martin and I was like, I thought, I watched Martin before, like I, I've had, like my mom or somebody like has had it on and off, but I've never really watched it like fully because also I was a child when when it was on, so I didn't really like watch it like that for real. So I watch it now because it's on uh, Netflix, right? Y'all, if Martin was my boyfriend, I would break up with him so fast. He is so annoying. Like, he has funny moments, obviously. Like, I know, like, this is the only show that I've watched so far that I've laughed every episode. Like, I, it is truly a funny, funny sometimes show. But he, like, he'd be doing a lot of stuff for, like, laughs and stuff. And it'd be annoying. Like, I, I don't like people like that in real life that, like, I think everything, not necessarily to think everything's a joke. Because I'd be laughing at stuff that I shouldn't be laughing at a lot of times. Like, I take, I take life half serious half not serious so like i'm not saying that you shouldn't like make fun of everything but he be doing the most like and he'd be embarrassing gina real real bad like i would be so embarrassed to be with him like not even like in a in a like a i don't know like in a in a not good way but like, just the fact that like when for example well i don't really remember <laughs> i don't really remember but like he just be doing stuff like embarrassing her in front of like her co-workers or in front of important people and it's just like you think that that's okay to do that to your girlfriend like i don't i don't understand that and she just be taking him back like and, and she'd be laughing about it i'm just like hey if it works for you that's lovely like it would not work for me i would be so mad all the time be because it's like you're doing the most like relax you're an adult you have an you own an apartment and a car you shouldn't be acting like a child like he acts like a four-year-old or like a class clown that needs to get attention. And I don't really like that, but he it still is funny. And it's it's sad. But Shanene is the funniest is the funniest character. Like every time she's on, I be laughing. But it, it's just so that's such a negative portrayal of black women. But like it's it's like he uh, it's just a lot going on. This this show if this if this show was made today, it would not fly with the with the youth of today. But I just take it at face value because I know that, like, back in the day, it was okay to do that. So, like, I don't really think too much about it because I know if I do, I'm going to get mad. I just think of it like, back in the 90s, they was not tripping over, you know, stuff like that. They didn't really... Well, people cared, but it wasn't as a globally, like, socially not acceptable to, to dress up and portray Black women in a negative way. And also, which makes me feel better, is that he makes fun of everybody. Like, he has so many other characters besides Shanene that he portrays in an extremely, extremely stereotypical way. So it's, it's like, he's not just picking on Black women, he picks on everybody. Which is, you know, you can take that how you want to take it. <laughs> I don't really know how to take it yet, but I, I'm just watching it for a good time. Like this is a, it's a good easy show to watch when you're like, just don't want to think about anything. And you just want to have like a good time. I just did two rows in 13 minutes. That is really good for me. Cause before, when I started before, I was taking like 15 minutes to do one row. I'm about to, this is about to be my new hobby. This is so fun. I can make like a, a scarf, skirts, hats, all that stuff. But um, I ain't gonna hold y'all for, for too long. Um, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I got something to say. Hey y'all, 
as you can see i just woke up it is 12 18 and i'm about to start my hair since i have locks it's so much easier to do my hair like I, it's already like it's already pre-parted it's already like where it needs to be but the the and i think i like it not as like straight because it looks more natural and i already have locks so it just looks like i have like lock extensions instead of faux locks but basically all you gotta do is put it in it's kind of hard to put it in but you know life goes on and then take the lock take the loop part and put it here locks literally used to be my favorite style ever because it's the easiest one it's way easier than braids it's way easier than wearing a wig because it lasts longer and also like you don't have to all you gotta do is worry about your edges lifting if you do edges but you don't have to worry about anything else like, you literally just wake up and you're done then loop it bam and then take your gel i use this gel it's the i don't know child it's this <laughs> I, I um heard about the TikTok reviews and it was also the cheapest. Um, I, I didn't need to buy this more. Because I'm going for like a really, really run down look. That's the reason why it's like the parts are crooked. and stuff. I want it to look really, really worn in. But um, take this. Kind of like do like little separate it a little bit. But obviously like don't you don't got to make a perfect part. Because also, like, locks are very forgiving. Like, if you don't do it exactly right or, like, don't have the perfect parts, it still looks okay because it's supposed to be locks, you know? But with braids, it has to be, like, perfect or it looks horrendous. I think I'm going to do my lashes, too. But not today. Probably tomorrow. So, y'all won't see that. And then, now, you take the crochet hook again. Put it in the part. You can't really see it. But, you know, put it in the part. And then you take you take your hair. I have like three packs of this. I've used one pack so well, two packs so far. So actually, I think I'm gonna have a lot more left over. But that's cool. I'm gonna be. Able, I'm gonna probably do these again. Probably gonna do this when I go to my um five week program for college because it's an easy style to do, and it's gonna be in the summer. It's gonna be hot. And then you just wrap it in the crochet hook and then you release, pull it through, and then you just start wrapping. Oh, wait. Okay, now you start wrapping. Look at me giving a tutorial that I messed up, of course. So we're just gonna add here then. You see, locks are forgiving because all you have to do now is add hair back on. You don't even have to restart it or anything. All you gotta do is add the hair where you left off, do a little wrap around, and then do it again. That's why you should do locks. If you're trying to learn how to do your hair, start with faux locks. It is so easy. The only thing that's really hard if you don't know how to do hair is the crochet. But once you get that, look at that. Once you get that down, you'll be perfectly fine. And then just go to, I go to where my hair stops. Some people go all the way down, but we don't have enough hair to be doing all that. So I just go to where my locks stop. And they stop about right here. I'll do a little bit more and then I leave this part out because again I want it to look lived in and then um, you can lose use lash glue or right now if I can find it I was using lash glue but I cannot find it right now so I'm just gonna use the wig glue like I said but lash glue is 
is better because it doesn't get your hands as sticky as the hair glue does. Then you just put it in and then wrap the hair, excess hair around. Do a good few of them. And then just roll it. And bam, you've got your lock. I love it. Okay, I'm about to finish the most majority of my hair and then I'm gonna talk to y'all when I got something to say. Hey y'all, I'm taking a break and I'm about to go down and get something to eat. I got me some McDonald's from the lunch menu cause I'm trying to do that money. And yeah y'all, I'm so hungry. I'm not even halfway done with my hair, but actually I think I, I'm not halfway done with my hair, so I think I'm fine. So yeah. We have secured the goods, y'all. I'm so excited to eat. I have ate all day so i'm i'm hungry and i'm ready to eat okay now i haven't had mcdonald's in a while like a good minute so let me see what is hitting up i know it's not going to be like the best because it's door dance like it's these are cold well i don't care i'm not really that picky when it comes to food like that so i got i think it's medium fries and then two cheeseburgers and I got an unsweetened iced tea because my face has been breaking out like crazy. So I think I'm gonna start like, um, what's it called? Dialing back on sugar a lot because I've been having like soda every time I go to work. So that's like a lot going on. And I have a lot of like, the, excuse. It's not, it's not like delicious, but it's okay. This is all. Eleven dollars, y'all. This really, it was not that bad. Hmm. Honestly, though, I feel like I feel like yeah, I probably know this already, but like it's it's they up the prices for DoorDash and it is like for pickups. So like the actual meal is more expensive if it's on DoorDash and you have it delivered instead of like picking it up. But I feel like, especially with foods like McDonald's where it's better hot, it should be less money because the food's going to be cold. So it's not going to be as enjoyable as if you actually went to the place. So I feel like it should be cheaper. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. Mmm. 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 I feel like I do a muck muck every video. Like literally I did it last video and I think the video before too. But um this is good. I wanted chilies. Well actually no, I originally wanted pizza, but I gave myself a I gave myself a fifteen dollar budget. But with tip and stuff it was seventeen dollars, but it's two dollars back. I'll get the two dollars back. But um the pizza was like twenty dollars. For a small, I said no, ma'am, no, ma'am, because the small doesn't, doesn't even fill me up. But like, this is this is not gonna fill me up, but it's gonna hold me until I go to work. I have work at five thirty. My hair's not gonna be done by five thirty, but I'll finish it tomorrow, and I'll show y'all and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm not really worried about that. Mm. So how's y'all day? I hope it's splendid. I hope you have a good day. Good night, whatever, whatever time you're watching it. Mm. I think I'm going to get more vinyls, but because I'm trying to. It's so hard talking and doing book Oh my gosh. I get, I get my most of my silent now because it's hard talking and eating. But um, I'm trying to figure out. What I want to, how I want to style my dorm. I'm thinking about doing pictures instead of vinyls, but I do love vinyls. But the thing is, I don't want to bring all those vinyls back and forth every time, like I move out in the summer. So I'm probably just going to end up doing picture frames instead of vinyls. Then when I get my actual apartment, I'll do the vinyls. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat>
I have to take um a what's it up a math and science placement test to see what class I'm going to be in. Y'all, it was all pre-calc stuff that I learned last year. Because right now I'm taking AP stats. I took pre-calc last year. I don't remember none of that stuff. I, I finessed it. And I, I literally just got over it. So I don't have to take pre-calculus. But I have to take calculus. Which is fine because I didn't take calculus. I took AP stats instead. Which now, it was a good idea, actually. Sorry. Actually, AP stats... Is the best AP math, I think. Um, and for the science one, it was chemistry and stuff. I don't remember chemistry. Like I learned that I learned chemistry junior year. I don't remember any of that. Like I do all my notebooks away because I didn't think I would need it. Because I thought in college they teach you physics. I'm, I haven't took physics. I didn't take it this year because I'm not taking AP physics. I don't. I'm not. I don't feel the need to do that. But if I knew it was gonna be chemistry, I would have kept my notebook. I wrote. I wrote good notes because that was AP Chem. I took really, really good notes. Um, and the reason why I, <clears throat> I still have to take it because I didn't send in my scores. So, I didn't take it. But oh well. Okay, I'm about to finish my food. Finish my hair, kind of. And I'm going to talk to you when I got something to say. Hey, y'all. Uh, so, I kind of, I'm almost done. I have like 11 or 12 braids left. But it is, yeah, see. It's like 4.45 and I have to get ready for work now. So, actually, low-key, it doesn't look that bad in the bath. But I'm still going to wear how I wore it um to school. Just so that I don't have to, you feel me, wear a hood all day because it'd be hot in there. But, um, yeah, I'm about to wash my face and change my clothes and get ready for work.